So, finished up admin work for the morning, cleaning the gym. Now I gotta head home and get some breakfast. Look who it is. Hi. Jill, tell us what you're doing this weekend. Um, I'm competing at for the. Um, Are you I'm, eating? I'm eating really boring food though. Is that breakfast? Yeah, it's broccoli, chicken, banana, and sun butter. Because I have to watch my diet today and tomorrow. Shouldn't you really be conscious of what you're eating all the time, Jill? I am. I'm underweight, which is good. You have to stay there. Not like last time. No. Last time was crazy. Anyways, what are you doing? Um, competing for the American Open Series Olympic lifting in Michigan tomorrow night, 8 p.m. On a Friday. In. I know. Mm. Check out her <laughs> Facebook. I'll link it below so you can follow her progress. Hopefully she does well. Hopefully. Masters world champion or some craziness. Mm -hmm. I'm um, headed home. I'm going to eat. Bye, Jill. Bye. And then got to talk to the kids at noon. Right. Seventh graders. Hopefully they're less, that. less weird like they were yesterday. I don't know. All right. So it's about 11 o'clock. Finished up some admin work, prepping to meet Mr. Brewer, the principal today, to finalize all the plans for the program, as well as doing some prep work, have a call with my business coach. So preparing for that, make sure I have all the information he wants so we can talk and discuss about things moving forward. Gonna walk G and then head out. Seventh graders, bring it all back. Feeling good after talking to them, super pumped. Just did a pull-up test. Had to do 10, because one of the kids was able to get three. <sighs> Look, I got it. Just back from the school. Definitely rejuvenated after yesterday, working with the seventh graders. They were more attentive. They wanted to participate in challenges, pull-ups, push-ups, air squats. Had a good time with it. Not too cool for school if you will. Um, so excited about that. Pumped to get started next week. I really think, sorry, listen to a podcast. Uh, one moment. Uh, excited to get started next week. Supposedly 60 waivers got picked up yesterday after the two eighth grade talks and kids were all over the place looking for waivers today. So could uh, be much bigger than expected day one. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, back home, got about 45 minutes for my coach's call uh, meeting. Gonna have a quick lunch. Got some quinoa on the stove working. And then gonna have some chili. So yeah, gonna have a quick lunch. And then got my call with my coach. All right, so sitting down to eat lunch. As you can tell, I mix a lot of my food all together. A lot of people probably don't like that, but it's just being efficient. I'm eating out of Tupperware. Again, simplicity is the key. Um, super good, vegan chili, uh, half a cup of quinoa. Enjoy. Well, looks like my coaching call is double booked, but Already poured some coffee, so I'm gonna do some quick work at home. Walk Georgia and head into the gym for maybe some uh, content videos. Workout and then coaching the kids tonight. Good day. So, something I wanted to talk about I wasn't able to meet with Mr. Brewer, the principal today, to finalize all the payment issues, semantics like that. Super busy with students, tons of disciplinary issues that he is working out and hopefully the program will also help. Um, wanted me to shoot him an email, give him the details, so shot him the email. Obviously not the preferred method to talk money, financials, and that kind of stuff, but shot the number over there and originally I kind of was questioning like, oh, is this too much, is this not enough? Really erring on the side of is this too much money to ask for? And yes, we're giving to a program and giving back and helping kids, but something I learned from a mastermind I went to originally and they helped me really pull out is that you can't give from an empty cup. 
I've been trying to do this youth program at the gym, at schools for years now, and never really been able to get it off the ground to the point where we are now, because we were just giving it away. And you know, as much as people do donate and give back, and the nonprofit space works to a point, you can't give from an empty cup. If you just keep giving, giving, giving from a half full cup or an empty cup, eventually you're gonna run out and the impact you're gonna be able to provide is non-existent. So I put a number out there that makes sense that's even with other programs in the county and gave a discount and offered my time and services otherwise, but the cup has to be full to be able to continue to give. So just a thought today when you're doing stuff or donating or whatever it may be, make sure you take care of yourself because if you're not taken care of, ultimately you can only give for so long. Um, a big thing that's really hit home lately, giving from an empty cup never works. So hopefully I hear back and the program kicks off next week. Super pumped. Um, last piece, gonna try to work with the PE department to teach barbell weightlifting, powerlifting movements twice a week to seventh, one class of seventh graders and one class of eighth graders and basically develop a curriculum of lifting weights as opposed to playing games in the gym for the 45 minutes that are there. We'll see what happens. Stay tuned for that. guys end of a long day started with the 4:45 a.m. group crushing squats and power building I apologize lots of talking head today throughout the day so I had to finish with a lot of highlights from the gym great job by all the athletes great classes CrossFit weightlifting um, excited for the future of the school and the work yeah I'll keep you guys up to date I appreciate you watching burn 30 or sorry morning movement tomorrow morning see you there